Hello, and you're watching today's update on Typhoon Noru, presented by myself, Hank Dulce, on Force 13. Currently, the storm is a Category 4 storm, and it, it is rapidly intensified. About 18 hours ago, it was simply a tropical storm, and now it is a Category 4, probably a moderate one at that right now. And it is also probably going to move towards the south a little bit more, and then towards the north. However, the steering currents around this thing are rather, um, what the, what's the word, kind of um, unpredictable, because as you can see, this is a little bit of a broader view. Um, the storm is stuck, uh, to what I can tell, it's, it's stuck in a call, which is basically the area in between four different areas of steering, because there's a ridge to the north, a ridge to the south, an upper level ridge, um, Invest 95W to its east, and then the interaction between X NASAT and Tropical Depression High Tang to its west. So it's stuck in the middle, and it doesn't really have anywhere to go. However, as this right here begins to dissipate, and 95W begins to move this way, and the ridge begins to back off, it should help steer Noru towards the north. The ridge should back off towards the east, which should allow that to happen. Um, looking at closer view at the satellite imagery, um, it is showing that it is really wrapped up and ramped up in intensity. The eye has cleared out. The convection was a little bit better earlier, but it's probably just going through a little waning, waning, waxing cycle. Excuse me, and it will probably continue to intensify as it moves towards the south, and then eventually turn towards the north. A slow turn at that. Um, JTWC does predict further intensification with this storm, so it and it is not out of the Realm possibility that this thing could reach super typhoon status and furthermore category 5 status so that is not out of the question um, so let's look at some of the factors that are helping uh, Noru out right now it's the current sea surface temperature graphic the uh, storm is located in this area right here which is you know 29 30 degrees Celsius that's plenty of fuel to support a storm of this intensity and if you look at the wind shear, this is really why Nora is ramped up. Look at this. It's over pretty much near zero values of wind shear. There's really nothing out here to really disrupt it. And uh, you can also see that NASAT remnants and tropical depression high tang over Taiwan, uh, just hammering them right now, unfortunately. Probably some pretty bad, probably pretty bad situation over there. Uh, this right here is the water vapor imagery. You can see some pretty prominent drier to the north of Noru, but it's beginning to block that up because if we go back to the satellite imagery really quickly, um, sorry about that, uh, we can see that it is becoming more and more annular over time, um, and that allows storms to, um, say, have less of an impact on their surroundings. By that, I mean, like, they don't get impacted by outside, um, inhibitors as compared to normal tropical cyclones. So that is what's helping Nora out and is also going to be can move south and this area right here is pretty moist. But as it turns towards the north it might get into this dryer which is being steered by both it and the ridge to its north closer to Japan and should help to the should help to weaken Noru as it potentially moves towards Japan. Speaking of this is the current JTWC forecast going you can see moving towards the south, moving towards the south, and then beginning to take a westward turn, and then moving towards the north. Um, I will say though that there is a lot of uncertainty with the storm, and I mean a lot of it, because the GFS model is showing the storm moving out to sea, like it, out in this area. However, the ECMWF is showing it skirting the, the the eastern coast of Japan, and some of the other models are making it move into central Japan, and others keep it out to sea. So I'd say that this cone does actually reflect the true uncertainty with the storm. Um, and this cone was also made when the storm was had 110 mile an hour winds. It currently has 130 plus mile an hour winds. So it's only showing a 140 mile an hour peak. I'm pretty sure this thing is going to get the super typhoon status. It might even make a try at cap 5 before this thing starts to weaken. So, And fortunately for now, it's not impacting any land areas. The only air, land area that might be impacted is this Japanese island of Iwoto. That might see some impacts from the storm. Uh, but apart from that, that's pretty much all to say with Noru. Um, uh, elsewhere around the world, we have some some stuff going on in the Atlantic, uh, namely this AOI right here, which has a zero, 
zero percent chance of developing in the next 48 hours and 30 percent in the next five days and should continue to move towards the west some models available but some don't that's kind of an iffy situation then this other aoi which is recently designated as invest 98l and that is looking better as it's moving in the northeastern gulf and should move into florida and by uh tuesday and then after that might move in the atlantic might have to watch for some development with this uh, but I don't think it's very likely. In the Eastern Pacific, we have this one AOI with a 0 40 chance. This might become our next storm, who knows? And then we have the Fujiwara interaction between Hillary and Irwin ongoing. Hillary is 40 miles an hour. It's probably going to dissipate before the Fujiwara effect is complete. And Irwin's actually strengthened as it's moving north towards Hillary. Uh, here's a little bit of a view of that's going, that going on. You can see Hillary looking like a ghost, pretty much. And then Irwin moving towards the north. Um, Looking rather healthy, though, I must say. And then it should be absorbed in the Hillary, though. I'm not too sure about that, but Hillary is the bigger storm, so that's probably going to play a huge issue. All right, so you can follow Force 13 on any of its outlets. The social media outlets include Facebook and Twitter. Search Force 13. I'll, I'll text on both of those. And then you can contact Nathan using Skype, using the name Full 13. And on Discord, you can use Full 13 with extension 9094 or Tropical Weather Chat. All right, that's it for me today. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and stay safe out there.